These cookies are a problem. If they put these cookies in hotels, they wouldn't be able to kick them out. Be like, girl, it's checkout time. Hey, Tasty fam, my name is Keanu. I'm the founder and editor of Jaconi. And today I'll try to upgrade the famous Doubletree Hotel chocolate chip cookie. For those who haven't heard, the Hilton has recently released their cookie recipe. Now there's some mixed reviews about it. Some really, really good and others not so much. It's all okay, there's always room for improvement. And that's what we're focusing on today. Self-improvement, but like for a cookie. So I have the recipe written down. I'm gonna make it exactly as it's written down, give it a try, and then see where there's room for improvement. So first things first, my butter is at room temperature, so it can whip nice and fluffy. White sugar, light brown sugar, almost equal parts. There's a tablespoon more of white sugar. A lot of cookies start off this way. Cream together your butter and sugar until light and fluffy. If you don't have a stand mixer, you can always use an electric hand mixer. And if you don't have one of those, you got the mixers you were born with. All right, this looks right to me. I have two large eggs, room temperature. It's kind of rule of thumb when you're baking your ingredients that could be in the fridge are at room temperature. Some vanilla extract. And it also asks for lemon to activate our leavener. It's not really gonna flavor the cookie to taste like lemon. Like four drops. We're gonna beat it some more. First on low for 30 seconds, go for another two minutes. Like what am I doing with this lemon? I don't like wasting things, so mm. All right, this is looking mighty fluffy. And now onto the dry ingredients. Two and a quarter cups all-purpose flour, and then a little bit of oats, like a smidge. Half a cup of that's going in there. Some baking soda. Now this is why they wanted the lemon, but it's a, it's a cookie, it doesn't need to, it's not cake, but you know, in it goes. Some salt, a teaspoon of that. And the last ingredient, cinnamon. So I'm gonna mix this on low speed for 45 seconds, being careful not to overmix, which I can feel like 45 seconds is a lot. It's been like 20 seconds and it's already incorporated, so I wanna stop mixing. Can I stop mixing? Dear God, I cannot. I cannot let this go for 45 seconds. These cookies will be Frisbees. So this recipe calls for a very particular brand of chocolate chip, so that's what we are going to use two and two thirds cup of chocolate. There's only so great the cookie can taste if your chocolate is meh. One and three quarter cup of walnuts. This is more walnuts than I've ever seen going into any single baked good. Just with a spatula, I'm gonna fold this together. I've never made a chocolate chip cookie dough this pale before. Baking sheet lined with some parchment paper. Normally I chill my cookie dough before baking it, but this doesn't ask for that. Scoop and drop. So it's about three tablespoons of cookie dough per cookie. This dough, the recipe says you can freeze it if you want to. And these guys, these are going into the oven 300 degrees between 20 and 23 minutes. So it's kind of a lower temperature. Bake them until they are golden on the edges and nice and tender in the middle. Cookies are out the oven and they are, they are the same color as my parchment paper. They're not lookers. I wouldn't swipe right. It's a lot of walnuts looking back at me. These are worse than I thought they were gonna be. <laughs> I really thought they were gonna be like fine. These cookies fell flat in many ways, but I have some ideas of how we can build on the foundation of this recipe and make them the best version of themselves they can be. It is a cookie makeover, y'all. Time to make the cookie upgrade. First thing is the butter. I am going to brown the butter. It's gonna help bring out this nuttiness that the other cookie wasn't having. Pop this on some heat, medium, medium, low. The goal is not to burn the butter. I want a nice light caramel. It's like the butter is seasoning itself when it browns. Keeping a very close eye on it because once it hits that line from brown to burnt, you can't come back. In the meantime, I have a baking sheet lined with parchment. Toast the walnuts. In the original recipe, they were giving me flavor. Just like my butter, I'm gonna brown them. 
I'm using significantly less walnuts because I don't want them to overpower the main star. And no oil, no anything. They go in dry. There's a natural oil in the nut. 350 degrees, five to seven minutes. Also keeping a close eye. Watch after your butter and your nuts like they are your children. Butter is beautiful golden brown. Like you will smell it. Check these walnuts. These are awake. That's all you're doing in the oven. You're just waking them up. I have my butter, beautiful and brown gonna carefully pour. Now, you wanna be careful not to get all those burnt milk solids in there. Brown and white sugar, but I am switching the quantities. Brown sugar makes cookies soft. So I'm doing two to one ratio of brown sugar to white sugar. So I have one cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of white sugar. All you need is a whisk. The butter is already melted, so this should come together really easy. Every stir is just like fragrance, fragrance, fragrance. Ugh. If you see any brown sugar lumps, just break them up with the head of your whisk. You want your food to talk back to you. This is telling me it's gonna be delicious. It's using its sexy phone voice, like, hey girl, how you doing? I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Brown, Brown Butter. Brown Butter is magic, y'all. I'm adding in eggs, same as last time, two large eggs, room temperature. Look at this beautiful, beautiful brown. And you know this step is done once your batter slowly flows into each other. I really want to accentuate the flavors we're working with. So just one teaspoon of almond, and this will really help bring out a true nutty flavor. Same amount of all-purpose flour as before, the same amount of oats, and baking soda. Give it a good gentle fold using a spatula. For the salt, I'm going to be using some sea salt. Sea salt is a beautiful complement to chocolate. It's okay if there's little speckles of white flour. Chocolate chip cookies, keyword chocolate. The best chocolate you can find is the chocolate you want to use. I am using this bar. Halfway between semi-sweet and dark chocolate and cut this chocolate into chunks, little bits. And that way it's like a complexity of chocolate. You'll have a chocolate shard, a chocolate sliver. Slide them on in. I'm gonna put in these walnuts and woo. Fold them in until it's nice and evenly distributed. So I'm gonna cover and chill this dough for two hours or overnight. It's chilled, it is firm. I am so excited to finally bake these. So each cookie dough ball is around two ounces each. Working quickly, you're just gonna compress it together in that curvy part of your hand. And just shape it into a quick little ball. You don't wanna play with this too long because your chocolate will melt. It can smell all the beautiful flavors in there. So just a tiny sprinkle of sea salt on top of these cookies is gonna help bring out that chocolate flavor. I'm gonna bake them 350, so hotter than last time, for 12 to 15 minutes. Wow, look at them. First noticeable difference is shape and size. Complex in texture, there's so many things going on. It is just like a happy party. I do have to wait for them to cool, but not an hour, maybe just 15 minutes so they can relax. This is the best part about a warm cookie, is just breaking it. Oh, man. Mm. These are wicked. These cookies are a problem. If they put these cookies in hotels, they wouldn't be able to kick them out. Be like, girl, it's checkout time. What I love about this upgrade is that there's so many things you can do to this recipe to make it better with the exact same ingredients. Upgrading doesn't always have to mean spending more money. I hope you give my upgraded Double Tree chocolate chip cookies a try. And if you do, show me the goods. I wanna see the cookies you're making. And until next time, I bid you adieu.